Taker's backstage giving the crew the pep talk. So it's Taker, Kane, Jericho, and Angle now. He's laying down the law. You know these guys are going to get involved. Kane, Jericho, I need you to keep an eye on things backstage. Angle tries to take over, gives him all the same commands, realizes he's pissing the Undertaker off, shuts up, says, I'll see you out there, and he leaves. So it's Kurt Angle and Undertaker versus DDP and Shane McMahon. Had a little time. Told a little story. DDP didn't want to be in there with Undertaker. So he baited Shane into hitting the ring alone so he could kill him. He refused to tag in when Undertaker was in the ring. Finally tagged in after they cut Kurt off. And so Taker gets the hot tag against Paige. And I know we talked about it. I know it's stupid and the kind of thing you can work through. But you can see when Taker is making his comeback and he throws a punch... And Paige is bumping for every punch. So he has to bump and then get back up and bump and get back up. Kinda. And you can see Taker, there's a pause where he doesn't know what to do as, T- as Paige is down. And this is how it all started. Oh, these WCW guys can't work. Yeah. Just because they worked differently, doesn't mean they, they, that meant they can't work. So it goes on for a while. Shane gets a last ride. Kurt gets the ankle lock on Paige. You know what's t- funny, by the way, about that whole thing? Who that? gives a fuck? Right. If I'm making Only a comeback and I'm throwing some chops, okay, I chop you. Maybe you bump, maybe you don't. Like, yeah. who fucking cares? <laughs> what the fuck difference does it make? Can someone explain this to me? It throws off your mojo? <laughs> like, who cares? I hit extra- you, you sell. Maybe you bump, maybe you don't. Who cares? I'm going to hit you again. I'm making a fucking yeah, comeback. Has- the extra second was too much for t- The Undertaker to handle. I mean, quite frankly, isn't it more dramatic? If I chop you three times, Vince, if you mm-hmm. bump every time, is that not even more impressive than if I chop that you does, three times and you bump on the third one? That does and if we do it the other way, who gives impressive. a shit? DDP, the fuck difference does it make? DDP wasn't actually taking like a flat back bump. He was actually spinning around and taking a knee and then getting back up and facing The Undertaker again. So it wasn't... It wasn't a bump per se, but it was just a whatever. Sell. Like, was he selling? Of course, yes. So who cares? Exactly. Yeah. So Kurt gets the ankle lock on Paige. Taker breaks that up. He doesn't want Paige to submit. He wants to beat him up more. And then, when this whole thing started, Brian, you said that watching this invasion would be like watching Nitro, and show enough, mm-hmm. here comes the NWO for the DQ. Everyone hits the ring. It's a giant disqualification. So first, it's uh, uh, Kurt and Taker fighting like 10 on 1. And they're holding their own. The rest of the coalition. That's what they call them in this show. The coalition goes down. Now it's like 20 on uh, 2. Finally, Kane and Jericho show up. And eventually, this 3 to 1 advantage or 4 to 1, whatever they had, it's enough. Angle gets a 3D. Jericho gets a super. It's not even that Kane gets a gore. It's, it's 2 on 20. And then Kane and Jericho run down, and now it's four on 20, and the four are beating the hell out of the 20. Yes. And finally, a third wave comes down. So now it's like four on 50 <laughs> before the WWE guys are finally taken out. And, of course, JR screaming, we need the old Stone Cold back, we need him back, et cetera, et cetera. It's obvious where this is going, but I fucking watched this show, and they buried the opposition on this show. Mm-hmm. They- yep buried wcw they buried ecw they beat them they took their belts the only way they got heat was when there were fucking three waves of them against four wwf guys and this show still did seven hundred and seventy five thousand buys <laughs> wow like can you imagine if they would have just brought in the Goldbergs and the mm-hmm. Nashes and the mm-hmm. Hogans and the Stings and the Rey Mysterios and actually did like a legitimate invasion, how much money they would have made. That would have been better. They would have paid off everybody five times over. Easy. But instead, they fuck everything up. They turn this into WWE versus WWE. They give the WWE <laughs> guys no like nothing mm-hmm. and by wwe guys i'm talking about their supposed wcw and ecw guys and they still did a gigantic number for this pay-per-view it's fucking amazing just amazing 775 doing everything wrong so there you go if you love these video clips head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join 
For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.